I'd like to talk to you about exam stress. All students in year 11 will experience exam stress in one form or another. Stress manifests itself in different ways. It could be pressure, anxiety, fear, tension, which leads to headaches and worry. It is exceptionally important that students understand that they need to look after themselves before they take care of their own performance. If it's not addressed, upset stomach and sickness, sleepless nights, memory loss, loss of appetite or overeating, low confidence, lack of concentration, low self-esteem, depression, mood swings and poor communication with others can be a result of not addressing stress. So who can we blame for stress? It could be the expectations from parents and teachers. It could well be the students have compared themselves with one another. It could be the fear of failure and not getting to the next step in their lives. Sometimes students say they go into examinations and they forget things. This could be due to a number of reasons. No study plan, no revision plan, not taking the right kind of rest and relaxation and negative thinking. I have one or two tips that just students might want to consider when planning uh, to go into the examinations. Number one, make sure you have a calendar which is accessible to everybody within the home. That way it will stop parents constantly asking whether you are studying on a particular evening. Also make sure you cross off each day physically showing that you have done that work on that particular day. And if you need to reschedule, make sure it goes onto the calendar. It may well be some exercises that you use to help reduce the stress. This could be breathing techniques, this could be stretching, or rubbing palms together and covering your eyes. There are a number of others, it's just what suits you the best. Visualisation. It's very easy, particularly going into exams, to be negative and say that things are going to get too hard and have negative thoughts. Exceptionally important that you visualise what success looks like. Rest is very important also. Make sure you get the right amount of rest. Get out of the house, take a break, five to ten minutes every hour and get round about eight hours sleep. That doesn't mean to go, go to bed, look at your phone, go on the internet, that's eight hours sleep. As far as food is concerned, bananas, cherries and kiwi fruit can actually help the sleep process. Oily fish is high, high in omega uh, and can feed your brain. Avoid large meals before study as this could make you sluggish. And sometimes when students are studying at home, the temptation is to eat junk food. So, top tips for parents during the exam period. Make sure you have quality daily communication with your child. This may not be possible even now, and it may well be that you're greeted with grunts and sighs on a regular basis. Listen to what your child is saying rather than interrupting with advice. And try and understand your child's fears and concerns, even if they seem trivial to you. Make sure you encourage your child when they do well or have studied hard, but do not celebrate mediocrity. Avoid saying study, study, study all of the time and give your child even more space than normal. This doesn't mean building a shed at the end of the garden. So other top tips, make sure you support your child with work, but please don't do the work for them. As this will impact on their learning efficiency. Shatter the myth of success in exams equals success in life. Every day, make sure you look in the mirror and say to yourself, who is the most awesome person today? That way it will give you the confidence to go on. You can only do your best. So again, very, very important that you understand that. If you're not sure what your best is, speak to your parents and speak to your teachers. Thank you.